Yeah, in the Holy Quran, in Surah Al Isra again, chapter 17, verse 23. Chapter 17, verse 23. You know, a lot of times we hear this verse. Uh, we hear this verse, and I want to quote this verse directly from the Quran, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just one part of this verse I want to remind myself and you on, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Wa qadha rabbuka Allah ta'abudu illa iyahu, wa bil walidayni ihsana, imma yablughanna indaka al kibara ahadahuma, أو كلاهما فلا تقل لهما أف ولا تنهرهما وقل لهما قولا كريما. So it's pretty long verse which Allah Subhanahu wa Taala speaks about. You know, and we all hear this, but there's a point I want to get to in this verse where we hear about, you know, Allah has decreed that you worship none but Him, illa iyahu wa bilwalidayni ihsana, and be nice and kind to your parents, to your parents. And then Allah says, "Imma yablughanna indaka al-kibara ahadahuma fala taqullahuma uf." And we all hear this also. And when they have reached an old age, do not even say uf. Don't say bad words to them. Don't insult them. Don't abuse them. So we all hear that. And a lot of times we are warned about that. But there is another part of this verse that you know Allah also says as we continue here. And do not, you know, repel them, abuse them, whatever. So we all know that. But here the next part of this verse. Here this part. Which is where a lot of us sometimes fail. Where Allah says, وَقُلَّهُمَا قَوْلًا karima. And Allah is telling us that you must make the time, take the time, make it your duty to say nice words to your parents. Isn't that interesting? We live in a world today in America where we don't even have time for us to say nice words to ourselves. Far less to find the time to say nice words to them. Allah is telling us. You understand half his money? You know how we're all busy? You find time. And why I said that I feel I'm guilty of that, I was all the time traveling all over the world, never had the time. Alhamdulillah, my parents live with me and I live with my parents, ever since I know myself, ever since I know myself, until now. Only when I went to study or I was traveling, and then that would begin with tears and end with tears. But I, I don't know if I made enough time. You know, my father passed away two weeks ago, and that's why this is fresh in my mind. And in the last two weeks, and I want to remind you, I don't want to tell you about my story. I want to remind you so you who have parents don't make that mistake. I didn't do them any wrong. I just feel I did not do enough. That's my problem. Allah is telling us, find time, be nice to them, talk to them, make them smile. Not only find out you have a problem, you're sick, you need something. No. Make time to be extremely nice to them. That's what Allah is saying here. A lot of times, we only have time when they're sick or if they need something. That's not what Allah is saying here. Oh yeah, go check it out. Surah Al-Isra, chapter 17, verse 23. وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا Speak nice things to them. This is a deep word. قَوْلًا karima. Nice words, kind, loving. Extremely, anything that could make them feel nice. The Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith, that if you talk to your parents and make them smile, you get the blessings of a hajj. And the Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and if we do that a hundred times, would we get the blessings of a hundred hajj? And he said, Naam, yes. Could you imagine, what is the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying? What is the Quran saying? And what have been passing through my mind in the last few days? Do you know in the last two weeks since my, my, my father passed away, I'm calling every auntie and every uncle to find out about their parents. Wallahi. 
And when they were alive, I did not really ask them, who was your father? And who was your grandfather? And who was your uncle? How many of you know that? Your father, father. If you're young, you would remember them. But not when you were like my age. Because some of them would have passed away before you were even born. But do you know, one of the happiest things for parents to hear is about their parents. How many of us asked them about their parents? When were their parents born? And there were times my parents would tell me about their parents and their grandparents. And I will hear it. I would definitely give them a hearing. But I don't think I really stored it. I don't think I did. And Allah forgive me for that. I confess for that. I did whatever I could have done, my brother, my sister, for them. Nine yards. I had one law, live with them, and they live with me. I could have never separated from my parents, and I never did. Alhamdulillah. And I never wanted them to pass away when I was out in some dawa journey or something. Alhamdulillah, they passed away right in front of my eyes and my around. But now I'm calling my father's older sister. So how did your father die? And who was your father? And when did they come? And who was, because I am now curious to hear 